Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Living Uniquely You with myself, Sharon Brown. I hope you are all doing well on this Friday morning. I'm bringing in. Sorry, I'm just getting my chair straight. I'm bringing in the full moon energies um, for tonight and the lunar uh, the lunar eclipse. We have a strawberry full moon. The energies at the moment are very heavy. They are. Um, what this full moon eclipse is doing, it's al uh, allowing us to to um, see our truth. It's given us kind of like a wake up call and um, allowing us to see the untruths that are going on in our lives and also within the world. So that's what's really happening within the world at the moment. Um, it's letting us, it's on... Um, it's in Gemini and in um, Sagittarius. So you have the gentle side of Gemini's and then you have the fiery side of the Sagittarius. So it really is a very mixed bag of energy at the moment. Hi, Carol. And what is happening is it's allowing us to say goodbye to the old ways and our old mindset. So it's bringing us and allowing us to open up to the new. Um, to follow your heart, follow your dreams, but all these old ways of being, patterns, um, old mindsets are all literally falling away now and allowing us to step into that new energy of the new earth, which is that 5D um, energy. And some people are kind of stuck between the 3 and the 5, so they're probably in the 4D and it's allowing it to fully step into that 5D energy. That 5D energy is just that vibration of love and allowing your life to go with the flow and going with every intuition hit that you get and allowing you to step out and do your full, be your true soul purpose. So I'm going to clear. There's a lot of, I feel there's a lot of anger coming up, um, irritation, sadness, grief. Um, with this full moon your emotions I am seeing as going to be a roller coaster so it's all about letting go of what no longer serves you and allowing you to step into a new way of being so what you done yesterday is not going to serve you today because the energy is shifting so quick and we are moving moving into this new en energy and a lot of people are being waking up on their spiritual path and they are seeing life probably now they're letting go of the conditions that we would have been conditioned through to media, society, church, um, what you call it, uh, governments. It's all that conditioning. And we are opening our eyes up to say that we don't want to live like that anymore. We're not interested in living in the harsh way that we were. We are interested in living in the loving energies, the peace, the joy and um. The happiness so i'm going to clear those energies and allowing you to step into the energy of the full moon and clear what you need to clear so you don't go into that whole overwhelm of these energies because we also have a portal opening up in the morning at 606 that i'm bringing in those energies in in the morning um so there's two huge big energetic days back back to back so just a let higher geraldine so just allow yourself, um, hiya Josephine, um, so just be very mindful of your energies over the next two days. And then, of course, the new moon energies are around for a couple or the full moon energies are around for, for a couple of days. So be mindful of how you're feeling. If you're not feeling great, that's OK. That's fine. But go in and see why you're not feeling great. And even um, a lot of self-care, a lot of rest. If you feel like do nothing, do nothing, because that's just the way it is. It's what the way you feel, whatever intuition, go with the hits, go with the guides that you're receiving and allow yourself to fully, fully go in and do what work that needs to be done and release that because it's no, it's no longer serves you. So it's going to keep coming up and keep coming up unless you sit with it and release it. So I'm just going to take, ask you to take a deep breath in. Okay, just take that deep breath in and calling all your energies fully, fully back. From people, places, situations. 
So allowing that energy to fully, fully come back into you. Calling it all the way back in, allowing it to go through a divine filter of pure love and light because we only want your energy coming back. Just allow it to come fully, fully back in. Allowing it to come through the divine filter of pure love and light and breathe out. Take another deep breath in. And just allowing your energies to fully, fully drop back into you. And breathe out. Take another deep breath in. And just acknowledge how you're feeling, not wanting to change anything. So it's okay to feel the way you're feeling. And breathe out. Now bring your awareness to your heart centre. And as you bring your awareness to your heart centre, visualise two big golden roots coming out of your heart centre. Into your solar plex, into your sacral chakra, your root, your hips, your legs, your feet, the floor, right down into your earth star chakra and right down into the core of Mother Earth. Feel your energy and Mother Earth's energy combining as one. <clears throat> and feel this energy moving now up into your earth star chakra. Pulling your earth star chakra all the way down, down, down into the middle of the crystalline grid of Mother Earth. Allowing go through, right down, 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 in and allowing you to take your rightful place on this earth and allowing it to fully connect in with the grid, fully anchor in your roots. <clears throat> Feel the roots wrapping around the grid, fully, fully wrapping around the grid. Feel the second part of the grid come up and fully anchor in your earth star chakra. Feel this energy now move up into your feet, your legs, your hips, your root, your sacral chakra, your solar plex and your heart centre. Doing a 360 degree around your heart centre. Calling in the energy from source straight down into your stellar gateway. Clearing anything that's stopping you have, having your divine connection. Down into your soul star chakra, allowing you to see your true soul's truth. Down into your your causal chakra, allowing your intuition to be fully heightened and to trust the information you're receiving. Down into the crown of your head so you can think more clearly. Into your third eye so you can see more clearly. Into your ear chakra so you can hear divine guidance into your throat so you can speak your truth with pure love and light. Into your solar plex, oh sorry, into your heart so you can love yourself for who you truly are. Into your solar plex so you can unleash your true divine masculine energies and allowing them to fully balance within the body and allowing you to accept yourself for who you truly are into your sacral chakra so you can unleash your true divine masculine energies and allowing them to fully balance within the body and allowing the energy of the masculine and the feminine energies to combine as one and bring them into pure balance and allowing you to unearth your true gifts and talents into your root chakra so you can bring in the abundance of life and all life has to offer into your hips your legs your feet the floor so you can take any necessary steps forward into your earth star chakra and right down into the core of mother earth feel this energy move back up right up into your feet your root and your heart doing a 360 degree around your heart chakra Feel your energy, Mother, your energy, Mother Earth's energy and Father Sky's energy combining as one. 
and feel this energy move to every part of your body and every part of your being. Okay. So just allowing yourself to come into full balance. I'm going to bring in the energy of the full moon eclipse. So just feel the energy of the full moon eclipse coming straight down into your stellar gateway. See the silvery beam of the of the full moon eclipse coming in. Feel the energy clearing your stellar gateway, clearing the energy, clearing of anything that is stopping you from fully, fully having divine connection. Feel any emotions, any passions, any ties, any hooks, any stories, anything to do with that stopping you from having divine connection to be cleared. Just feel the energy of the full moon coming straight down into you. Osala mahaka tu ukatele hekata mahaka su It's burning away any of the old emotions. I feel a very heavy energy around this full moon, so just feel that energy, that silver energy of the full moon coming straight down, the beam coming straight down into your soul, soul star chakra. Allowing it to any blocks, clearing that way any blocks that are stopping you from having divine connection and also having and seeing your tr true soul's path. So any blocks that are stopping you from stepping forward into your soul's path. Any obstacles. And what I'm seeing is actually a door being opened. So allowing you and giving yourself permission to walk through that door of opportunity. Any emotions, any self-doubt, unworthiness, all those emotions to do with your soul's path. Are all being cleared and allowing you to fully trust yourself. Just feel this chakra coming into full, full balance. So it's just giving you a full clear out today. Down into your causal chakra. Dropping the silvery energy down into your causal chakra and removing anything that's stopping you from Fully trusting your intuition. So all the self-doubt. All the fear. All the anxiety. All the energy of unworthiness. To be cleared around your causal chakra. So you can have pure connection with source. And you can trust that the information you are receiving and belief within yourself. Dropping down into the crown of your head. So removing all those niggly thoughts, all the self-doubt thoughts, feel the energy of the full moon eclipse dropping down, the silvery energy dropping down into the crown of your head. And clearing away the fog brain, the monkey brain. See the clouds drifting away and all the negative thought patterns. And all that's allowed to come in now is new ideas, positive thoughts. Anything negative is being cleared from the crown of your head and allowing you to fully, fully think more clearly. Just allowing this to come into full balance. The rest of the chakras. Now it's dropping into the third eye. Feel the energy, the silvery energy of the full moon eclipse. And allowing the veils to be cleared from the third eye.
Lown all blocks around the Chordai to be cleared. Uslama haka tu ukata mehe kala asa hakata. Fair, fair base blocks. Uslama haka tu ukata mehe ka. Alama haka tu usta mehe kata. So just allowing whatever way you see, sense or feel. Just allowing any blocks that are stopping you. From truly trusting what you're saying, what you're feeling, what you're believing. All being released. All the emotions to do with this, which is all self-doubt, all unworthiness, all fear. Feel the chakra coming into full alignment. Go salama hakata e mahaka use hekata. Down into your ears. Any blocks around the ear so you can ha can't hear the divine guidance. Somebody may, some of you may feel a ringing in your ears or your ears. <clears throat> I can, what I can see is a vibration running between the two ears and it's clear and anything that's stopping you from hearing properly. And um, I'm being told it's literally been turned up a notch so the vibration in the ears is being turned up slightly so you can hear more clearly you might hear that tingling you might hear bells ringing you might hear a buzzing noise it's just the frequency is literally being fine-tuned here <laughs> Just allowing them to come into full balance. Feel the energy of the full moon, silvery energy of the full moon dropping down into your throat chakra. And it's clearing all emotions around the throat chakra. It's allowing you to speak with pure love and light. Any cloaks of invisibility are being cleared here. Any past life stuff. <clears throat> Ola maha katu ukata sehe ba a la maha katu le mehe kata. A salamaha katu uke salamaha o salamehe katu ukate. So allowing the throat chakra to be fully cleared, <clears throat> allowing you to speak your truth. So all the fear, all the anxiety about speaking your truth with pure love and light is being cleared here. All the emotions to do it. Asalama aka tu ukatila meheka asala meheka tu ukatila mehekata. Now the energy is literally just allowing this throat chakra to come into full balance. Feel the energy now drop down into the heart, the beautiful silvery energy of the full moon eclipse dropping into the heart. All the old hurts, all old emotions, all heartache, heartbreak are being cleared here. They are clearing away so you can open your heart to whatever what is appropriate for you. Any heart walls are being dropped. The armour has been released. It's time to love and love yourself for who you truly are. Asalama akutu ukutu meheka salameheka u salameheka to kutu meheka salamahaka to ukusehe. To allowing you to fully love yourself for who you truly are. Allowing you to put yourself number one. Feel the beautiful heart chakra open up. To whatever is appropriate for you today. Feel the energy of the silverly full moon eclipse clearing away all the old emo emotions, all the old baggage, all old hurts. Feel them all being taken away and cleared and allowing your heart chakra to fully open up. 
to whatever way is appropriate for you. So feeling your heart chakra to come into full balance. Now feel the energy move down into the solar plex, the silvery full moon eclipse energy, clearing away all those old beliefs about yourself. All the harshness that you've said about yourself, all those niggling thoughts that you're not good enough. It always happens. Why does it always happen to me? All those self doubt. Allowing yourself to come into full balance and to accept yourself. For who you truly are. No matter what mistakes you have made. They're in the past. All the cords of the past. To be cleared and cut. These energies no longer serve you. So stop looking at the past. And it's time to look in the present. And be at one with yourself. And start looking to the future. Feel them being burnt away. Feel them being released. All the past hurts. All the self-doubt. All the fear. And allowing you to fully, fully accept yourself for who you truly are. Now allowing it, this beautiful silvery full moon energy eclipse drop down into the solar plex. Sorry, the sacral chakra. Fully drop down into the sacral chakra. And allowing yourself to see the gifts that you have. Allowing yourself to unleash your true creativity. So any blocks that are stopped, which are the self-doubt, the fear, what other people think, all that crap and bullshit that we tell ourselves is being cleared within the sacral chakra. And allowing your true creativities to flourish. Allowing the true masculine and feminine energies to fully balance within the body. So feel all the blocks, all the fear, all the anxiety around seeing your true path, seeing your true gifts to be cleared. Ola mahaka salame heka tu uka seme hekata. Ala mahasa haka talame hekate. Asa uka teme hekata. And allowing your crew creative juices to flow within the body. Ala mahaka tu uka seleme hekata. Ala mahakata. It's time to start birthing new ideas. Usala mahaka tu meheka. Ala mahakata so mokatehe. Just feel your sacral chakra coming into pure balance. Now dropping down into your root chakra. So clearing the energy of lack and limitation. Clearing any old contracts, any old binds, any, any old vows of poverty. Anything at all associated with with stopping you from having the abundance that you deserve and allowing you to take any necessary steps forward and allowing you to create the abundance of love, joy, happiness, health and wealth into your life. So anything that's blocking all that is to be cleared. Alamaha hu sehe ulemehe katalamahokate maha suhu lehe katasuhule. 
So feel the energy of the full moon, silvery energy of the full moon, clearing away the root chakra. So allowing this root chakra to come into full balance. Into your hips, any stagnant energy to be cleared into your legs, your knees, your bottom parts of your legs, your ankles and your feet. So all this, all negative energy to be washed away with the silvery energy of the full moon eclipse is being poured down your legs and clearing away any stagnant energy. Right down to your earth star chakra, clearing the earth star chakra of anything that is stopping you from not being fully grounded within your body. So bring in your, your earth star chakra into full balance of the yin and the yang. Now feel the energy of the silvery full moon energy of the eclipse. Feel this energy move to every part of your body and every part of your being. Allowing it to move into your 12 DNA strand, down to your cellular memory. Right down to your endocrine system, to every atom, every being within the body. And clearing any old patterns old mindset, old, old belief systems to be cleared and allowing you to bring in the energy of new opportunities and allowing you to bring in the 5D and step into the 5D energy of pure love. So just feel this energy move to every part of your body and every part of your being that's going down right out into every layer of your skin and out into your auric field and it's clearing your auric field of anything that no longer serves you any hooks any ties any stories any binds anybody else's energy any energetic cords anything that's hidden or deeply hidden within your auric field or within you that no longer serves you to be released and cancelled, clear, delete, disturbed from all time and space, backwards and forwards, multi-dimension, be clear, clear, clear to all timelines, past, present and future. Osala mahaka tu uka tila meheka, ola meheka, asa uka te malahaka use mahe luhu me. So just feel this energy move through every part of your body and every part of your being and bring you into full balance. Bring you into pure oneness. And vibrating on the energy of pure love. Whatever frequency is appropriate for you. Just ask you to take a deep breath in and cross your hands over your knees. Usala Mahaka to Uka to Meheka Lehe Mahaku and fully anchor in that energy. And so it is. Ooh. Oh, I didn't expect we were doing that today, but sure, look, that's where it brought me. I hope you enjoyed that clearing. Um, yeah, it was, I felt the, the full moon energy. I just feel it's a very heavy energy. And I hope that has brought in that energy now and has cleared you and helped clear that heaviness that was around and any emotions or anything that you've been holding on all the past and allowing you to step into the future. Um, be very mindful over the next couple of days of your emotions. We have the Gemini and the Sagittarius energies mixed together and I do feel a lot of anger and um frustration and emotions are going to come up over the next couple of days and remember that if that does happen you come back and do this replay and it will release what needs to be released because i just feel it's going to be um a bit of a rocky couple of days that's that's what i'm picking up on so um i hope you have a magical couple of days and be very mindful, a lot of self-care, 
lots of water to flush out all the emotions and all the old stuff that is coming up and um if you would like to join me and the rest of the girls in the portal activation group please pm me because i uh, will be pulling bringing in that portal in the morning at 606 and there is also the replay um and then you will get the couple of months the past couple of months and it's 13 33 per month i am so looking forward to bringing in the energy because there's a lot of new energy coming in um it's really starting to shift so have a magical friday please share and i will talk to you all again tomorrow so take care bye